hold on, 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 no, 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 hold on. We deal in order and in respect, man. So stop, well, we're out here, no, no, listen, listen, listen. But we're your teachers. Hold on, hold on, we're your teachers. We're your teachers. If you knew, that, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you knew so much, go set up on the corner two blocks up the street. You don't know when this man asked you two questions, you got first. No, listen, 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 I'm going to give it back to him. But he asked you, hold on. Question. Okay, okay. How do you give me two questions? Okay, go ahead. One question. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Who was your first question? How are y'all black Israelites? Okay, now hold on, hold on, hold on. Everybody hold on. Everybody hold on, hold on. Now, are you going to give him a chance to explain it? Okay, then. Now, now hold on. No, no, you just said it. Show the whole cause. You want us to show you one scripture. You try to show us. We're trying to read it again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at the Africans. Chapter 11 and verse 8. And so not before they have heard thy call, neither interrupt men in the midst of their talk. But you shouldn't interrupt a man in the midst of his talk. Now what you got to say? I'm going to let you talk. When the curse is going out, wait. That's a question. We're so quick. But we're going over the curse. So quick. We're going over the curse. The curse is going to show you who the Israelites are. Do y'all understand that? Do you yes, understand yes that? Yes and no. Okay, 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 you ready? So therefore, if Deuteronomy 28, and it begins to say, these blessings are in the, uh, are my children of Israel, blessed in the city, blessed in the field, blessed in the cup, blessed in the storehouse. So therefore, anybody that's blessed, hold on, hold on. Anybody that's blessed can be connected to the church. Man, here's your problem. Come on, you won't listen. We went to Dan 9 11 to show that Israel broke the commandments. So, as a result, the curses right. came instead of the blessings. Right. So, the blessings are obsolete right now. You went to Daniel 9 11 and 12. Go ahead, go ahead. Let me tell you why I went to Because if we're going to. No, 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 Ain't nobody said they broke it in there. Now, Daniel and I was letting you know that Israel did break that. They ain't just got the day that was broken. He was letting them know that Israel had broke the covenant. Okay, you understand that? Okay. Now, like, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got to go. Okay, Daniel, so we got to finish. We got to finish. No, 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 no,
to answer because you said it happened to my people, what yes, it but it also happened to several other people. Yes, but we're going to show you something that happened. Okay. Not sure about this off the bar. Okay, let's go. Verse, give me verse 16. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. A lot of nations were in this place. Right and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. According to the Bible, Egypt means. Huh? What does it mean? It's a prequel. Verse 22. The book of Exodus. Chapter 20 and verse 2. It says, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So Egypt means the house of bondage. Do you agree according to the scripture? You bring them out of Egypt, the land of the house of bondage. The most I refer to Egypt as a house of bondage. Come on, let's let's prove. That's easy. Listen up. Fight, fight the script. Egypt according to the scripture of the house of God. What's your question? Go ahead. No, it's not. Okay. You, you don't believe the scripture. Go ahead. Because ah. Egypt no, no, no. is the house of God. You ready? You ready? Read it again. You ready? You ready? Oh. Let's, let's go ahead. Say what you're looking for. Say what you're looking for. Okay, get that microphone while you're looking for. I want to talk. You ready? Because no, no. Egypt is the house of God. If Egypt, the name Egypt means the house of God, y'all should be able to look that up on any. It's the house of bondage. Book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. What did he bring them out of? He brought them out of slavery that was in Hold on, I'm not finished. I'm not finished. Hold on, hold on. Listen, but here's what I'm going to say to you. He asked me, what does the name Egypt mean? I'm talking about, I said, according to the Bible. That's what I said. You said. I, don't say. I said, according to the Bible. You ready for this? This is what he's saying. This is Detroit. This is the urban ghetto. I mean, this is the urban ghetto. You know what I'm saying? That don't mean Detroit. It means ghetto. Listen, bro. The, listen, listen. We're talking about why you agree. We, I, did, did you hear me say what does Egypt mean according to the Bible? Did you hear me say that? Yes or no? Did you hear me? Read it again. Read it 20 times. Chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. He brought them out of the house of bondage. He brought them out of. So when he said the house of bondage, watch this. Watch this. Stop, stop. When he, I'm sorry. When he said the house of bondage, what was he to. He was referring to the Egypt. You know, Thank you. So, no, no, no. See, y'all, what y'all doing is like, go, 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 go. So, you ready? So, watch this. He said, I brought you out of the land of Egypt, comma, the house of bondage. That's the place of your imprisonment. He also said, okay. that, he also told Daniel, that Daniel, let me, let me, Daniel you're right going to be taken to Babylonia, me, the place of exile. Let me, let me interject. It'll be Babylonia, me exile. Let me interject. What did he call Egypt just now? Did he call Egypt the house of bondage, yes or no? Watch what he said. Did he refer read, to Egypt? Read, as the house of bondage. So he referred to him as the house of bondage. Now I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you why. So you ain't letting us finish. Now go. Finish up. The book of, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6 and verse 12. Then beware, lest thou forget the Lord, which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. So we see multiple times that when he re re referenced Egypt, he talked about it as a house of bondage. Y'all can't deny that. Thank you, Lord, Tony. Say something while you're looking for it. Because soon you get him gone. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. When did the Israelites go back into Egypt again? Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, stop, stop. I want to hear him. Listen, I'm teaching this. I'm teaching this. We're going to continue the whole scripture. But we got to break it down, line upon line. When did the Israelites go back to Egypt again? The Israelites never went back to Egypt again. So when he said the Messiah will bring you to Egypt again, Again, he's talking about another place, another house of bondage. Right, another. My question is, you're teaching. I'm a student. Right? We're breaking it down. The Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ship. With what? With ship. So we know it was not the literal Egypt. You know, Revelation 11 talks about a spiritual Egypt in Sodom. You know that? 
Which is what? You know as a marble once you break it down with the battle. Yep. Did, how did the blacks from Africa get over here? Did we get over here with ships? Did we not? Yes, we did. And we went to this land about this house? With ships. By the way whereof I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold. You shall be sold unto your enemies. Your enemies for bond men and bond women. Now, when did the Egyptians go to slavery and ship and was sold to their enemies? Okay, when was the white man put on slave ships, went across the water, uh -oh, went across the water and was sold to their enemy as bomb in the bomb women? We'll wait, Mr. Historian. Yeah, I'll wait now. We'll wait. When was the so-called white man put on slave ships and was sold and was sold to their enemy? Okay, first of all, the major transport for maritime states and maritime countries oh. is ships. Who been sold into slavery? Every nation of the world. When was the white man sold on, got on slave ships and were sold to another nation? As a nation. As a nation? That's what we're talking about. We're talking about the children of Israel. Right. Talk to the nation of Israel. So that's the point. That's the point. Who is people who were sold into slavery? At when? And when on ships when? And when on ships when? Give me the particular you time source. Whatever you, you got. You hit, man. Thank you. Thank you. That's our point. You hit. That's our point. No, stop. We just proved he don't know nothing. Let's go. He don't know nothing. Come on. Give me verse 48. Nah, it's over. 48. I'm done with you. Verse 48. No. You're dismissed.